Right next, we're going to talk about um, LTI integration. So we finally have this feature in our 8.1 release. So this allows uh, clients who would like to integrate uh, the users who are inside their LMS into the platform. So in short, let me just explain this with this slide. So um, an instructor, or usually, um, um, okay, maybe the first first point of integration is is an instructor. Yes, uh, from the LMS they can easily single sign on right uh, into the platform so from their lms there will be a link to go to the platform they click on it it single signs signs on them uh, when they come to the platform if their account doesn't exist it would auto provision and they would have and they will be able to create an account uh, rather they will be able to access the uh, eon Excel platform so in short i i go to the lms i log in to the lms I see a link for Ionexa, I click on it, I'm inside Ionexa. So it's as simple as that. So there's no remembering of multiple password. Just need to go to your NMS. From there, you can access Ionexa. From Ionexa, you can create 3D, 360 lessons playlists. Right? So now I've created, for example, I've created a 3D lessons. Uh, the instructor is able to get an LTI link uh, for the lessons. And then, um, and and based on that, they are able to add to their course inside the LMS. For the student, um, they they would just need to log into the LMS, view the course created by their instructor, and one of the links might be uh, uh, the 3D course that the instructor has created. So they click on that link, um, it starts a 3D lesson. They will be single sign on to the Eon XR. If their account doesn't exist, it auto creates, and they will be able to see the lesson. Way. so this is this is the whole integration i'll go through the different parts so so you get a better understanding of how the whole thing actually works so step one uh, the administrator okay the lead admin or administrator of the uh, of the eon xr uh, they need to do the setting up process right so you would go to admin you go to admin page right next uh, from here go to settings Right, so from there, uh, we'll click on LTI settings. Right, so um, what you can do is there's this step called roles. So what you can do over here is you need to map the roles that's inside the LMS to the one that is inside our platform. Right, so in, in some LMSs, they might have a bunch of roles. For example, instructor, for example, right? So instructor might be mapped to, for example, uh, um, a, a teacher role maybe in, in the LMS is called instructor so instructor role might be mapped to the teacher role inside the platform so this is where you start to map the different type of roles right um, and then at the same time if a user belongs to more than one role right so for example so which which would have the higher weightage for them so let's say if a person uh, is a teacher and maybe this one is an instructor right so which one do I assign Right, so that's where if if a person is uh, has both roles, multiple roles. For example, you're a instructor and you're a student. So I would say the high weightage should be for the instructor. So I would give the the instructor a higher weightage, and else for the student, I give a lower weightage. Right, and um, let me see. I and I think if oh yeah, I think I should give it zero. Which means if I cannot seem to detect. So if if the user comes from the LMS and we can't seem to detect what role they are because it's not mapped over here then it will default to the one that is set with the lowest role which is zero right so if if the, in the is if, if nothing matches we'll use zero but if i see you've got two roles uh, you've got student instructor and teacher for example so i'm gonna set this to seven right i see you've got these three roles then i would go by the role of the highest weightage which is over here is number eight which is teacher then i'll assign you this role inside the platform Right, so that's what this uh, role mapping is about. Uh, next up is the part on the uh, we call it the. Oh, hang on. Okay. Anyway, so when you start setting this up, you need to go to the credentials first. Right. So uh, the way this works is you need to copy the the LTI credentials from uh, the Eon XR to the LMS. Right. So this is the page where you see the credential. So I've got a canvas running, right? So I can show you exactly how this works. 
So first you got to go to the admin um, site admin, go to settings. So this is just an example for Canvas. Uh, different LMS will have different settings. I'm just going to show it for here. So we go to settings, we go to apps, and we'll click on add app. Right. So I will choose um, a manual configuration. So we'll put the name as Eon. Uh, uh, here's where you can see the consumer key and the shared key. Right, so we will copy that from here. Consumer key. Um, the shared key. Uh, next thing we need is the um, launch URL. This is very important. And that's all. That's it. We're done. Right, so I'll just hit submit and have just finished adding uh, Eon XR into the uh, into the uh, as a LTI link inside the canvas um, LMS. So now that I've done that as an admin, um, any teachers or any lecturer who creates a course like over here, I have a course uh, created. Uh, they would see that the Eon XR uh, link will be there, right? So students or lecturers can just click on this. Uh, again, this this can be further customized within the LMS as in who can see which uh, they can actually customize as in which role could see such a link. So let me just click on it to kind of show you what we mean. So we click on the link, it single signs on the user to the EONX. Huh? That's what we mean. Right? So the second part of the of, of it is if I would like to um, share uh, a particular lesson inside the LMS. So I could I could do it via what we call the um, LTI sharing functionality. So from here, if you click on this, you would see the LTI config settings. Click on that, and you would have uh, something similar like that, the one that the admin had, except this is for you to link up your course inside the LMS into the into the lesson inside um, Eonx. Huh? So let's do let's continue the setup. So inside the canvas, I'm going to again uh, repeat the whole flow. We'll copy the name. Consumer key, um, shared key. Um, XML. Um, so this is for the XML. So this normally XML, um, it is mainly for if you're using Canvas, then they will have this. If Moodle, then you would manually, or some other LMS, you'll be manually entering all this information. Right, Sakai or, or Moodle, it'll be this. So different LMS might, the way it works might be a bit different. So I'm just going to press submit for this. Okay, so now I can easily add a... Um, um, inside canvas, inside a module, I can easily add an external tool and it would show this uh, particular lesson appearing there so I'll click on that I might say load into a new tab and add item and that's it, so now we've got our lesson that is inside the course so for the students, they would just simply click on this as uh, what we see early on, um, it would then um, open in a new it would open a new tab, it would provision the account if, it, if it's not yet created and they would then be landing on this page where the students can just click on play lesson to launch a lesson so that's kind of the whole flow that we've gone through for LTI so this has been tested on Moodle on Sakai on Canvas and we're pretty confident it will work on Blackboard and any other LMS uh, because LTI is suspended so it should work across any LMS that implements the same standard